Hello, my name is Nicholas Stadden and I'm with Monrovia. Today we're going to talk about blueberry bushes. Tips, tricks to high fruit production and knowing when to trim them. So let's talk about the high fruit production. The first thing is to buy a blueberry bush in the garden center that has a great shape and form. Don't buy those blueberry bushes that are thin and twiggy. Buy a good looking blueberry bush because then you'll be guaranteed of success. Soil is really important when you put them in your garden. They like high acidity, and so cocoa fiber, that's a great thing to use, peat moss, or you can plant in an azalea and camellia mix, just as good. You can use them in the ground. If you're gonna put them in the ground, then make sure you put lots of organic matter, peat moss around them. Containers is the way I like to farm them. So if you buy a blueberry bush and a two gallon, make sure you put them in a the container at about 20 to 24 inches. They take a full sun position. They don't mind being in the dappled shade, but they do like to be a little bit on the moist side. On the fertilization, I fertilize my bushes about every 30 days. So when you're in the garden center, ask your local expert what type of fertilizer you should use in your part of the world. Pruning is a key issue to great blueberry production. So let's talk about that right now. When you prune your blueberries, prune them after they're fruited. And the whole goal is to get a blueberry bush so it's nice and open, so there's a good air circulation through it. Um, this blueberry bush that we're looking at right now is called Bountiful Blue. It's a great, great blueberry. We see it in its autumn color. During the growing season, its, its leaves are actually blue. It's the first blue leaf blueberry in the world. It's a real smoker plant. We're gonna go in and we're gonna thin out a little bit any branches which are crossed, we take those out. Already you can see the difference. Oh, you can hear it go, oh, this is lovely. Now I can feel the air going through my branches. So you can see here, this is really what we're trying to do. We're trying to open the plant out get the air circulation going around in there, and this will really increase your berry production the following year. So already you can see how this bush has started to open out a little bit. And in the springtime, that's when she gets rejuvenated. So there are a few tips on how to prune, increase your blueberry production from Nicholas Stadden at Monrovia.